JJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, guys, so today's topic is, oh my God, Microsoft owns GitHub. I need something else. <laughs> All right, so if you're looking for alternatives and you're looking for something different than GitHub because you think microsoft is going to take over it's going to destroy the open source community it's going to destroy everything that they have on github this is my personal opinion personally i don't think so what i think the most that they're going to do they're probably going to shelf adam which is the other text editor that is part of github okay because they have vs code and of course they're going to try to push vs code in front of your faces 24 7 so we could say r.i.p adam right but let's see what happens i mean this is not final this is not something that we could say hey this is exactly what they're gonna do this is only my opinion but if you're freaking out because they own it and you're like oh my god i need something else i want to get all my projects off github.com because microsoft owns it and they're not good with open source they don't care about us you know <laughs> bill gates doesn't care about us <laughs> whatever right so if you're in that situation well here's a couple of websites that i will tell you go check out okay first of all you got GitLabs. GitLabs is very similar to github so using GitLab, you probably feel at home because it's very similar okay it has some a little extra features and that just makes it nice but a lot of companies use this right as far as like open source yes you could use it for free like the very basics you could get it for free right if you're using just for one project for yourself then you're gonna be fine okay you're gonna be cool now the next one that I'm gonna talk to you about is actually my favorite because every major company that I've worked for has used big bucket nobody really uses github right nobody uses github nobody uses gitlab when it comes to like really big companies they use atlassian's big bucket because it connects to everything it connects to jira it connects to um uh, i forgot the the other programs that atlassian has i'll tell you right now just to keep it clear so you can know what's the ecosystem like for bitbucket okay so they have Jira, they got Jira Service Desk, Jira Core, uh, they got Trello, they got Stride, HipChat, you got Bitbucket, SourceTree, which is the Git desktop client, the one that I love to use. Every company I've been to, they use SourceTree. So once you sign up to Bitbucket, not only is your uh, projects private, right? By default, yes, you can make it public, but by default, they're private so you don't have to be like how github has it that you have to pay a premium to make them private it's like nah it's, it's already private on bitbucket okay and as you can see everybody's already promoting this they're like man migrate from github to bitbucket like <laughs> so it's crazy because people are leaving github because they think microsoft is gonna take over or they're gonna look over their projects and they're gonna own it like i've heard so many crazy stories so you know all of these services are banking on the idea that people are gonna leave so as soon as you land on the page they're like hey man you want to do that migrate let me show you how to do it <laughs> okay so then you got source forge source forge I, I hate this name source forge i don't know why they have that but you know a couple of companies use this from what I've seen is usually like uh, a lot of Linux projects I'll see like on this, uh, but I don't know. This is like a, it's like an extra, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like the extra companies that they're there, people use it, but you don't know who uses it. I mean, they say 33 million users worldwide uses it, but hey man, I don't know who uses this thing. Okay, and then from there you got Launchpad, which is another one. Uh, this one is by, oh, I believe this company called Canonical or something like that. I know I've heard of them before, but I can't remember from where. But this is another website where you can come in and create uh, basically your Git repository and, you know, just start putting your project online and, you know, saving it. 
and keeping track of shit. <laughs> All right. Now, the next one that you have here is Gogs. So Gogs is a self-hosted. If you're one of those people that's like, I just don't trust nobody. I don't know who's watching my code. I don't know who's trying to steal my lines. Who's out here trying to take over the world. I don't want nobody seeing my code. Well, hey, man, create your own Git service, right? Create your own self-hosted Git service. So you can just come in and host your own damn Git on your own server, on your own computer, wherever the hell you want it, without having to share it to nobody else. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of companies that use it, a lot of Chinese companies. Um, but yeah, they're powered by DigitalOcean, KeyCDN, da da da. You know, it's open source. You know, it tells you, hey, what frameworks they use, uh, Macaroon. What the hell is this? <laughs> you know, when people want to come in and start creating frameworks and, and creating shit for no damn reason. Like, hey, let's create something called Macaroon. <laughs> like, come on, man. But yeah, so as you guys can see, this is everything that you're going to get. It's pretty cool. You can start hosting it on your own computer or your own server or get your own digital ocean to host just all your Git files. This is great for those people that just don't want nobody to see their, their code. They don't want this to be somewhere where, let's say, for example, let's say Bitbucket, right? You put something on Bitbucket. This is still owned by Atlassian. Like this doesn't guarantee you that somebody at Atlassian can look at your code, even though it's private. You get what I'm saying? Like they're not supposed to do that, but an employee could go into your code and look at it, right? But if you're hosting your own damn Git service, like it's a wrap. Like nobody's going in there unless you want them to go in there, right? So like I said, guys, it's up to you if you really want to switch from GitHub. Personally, I don't think Microsoft is going to F it up that much. I mean, they're going to do their little bullshit. You know, they, you're going to be like, hey, man, you want to get a, a Microsoft Xbox notification while you upload your repository? Hey, this is brought to you by uh, Halo. And like, <laughs> that's the type of bullshit you're going to see. You're going to start seeing a little bullshit like that. Like, hey. You're using open source. How about you also use, you know, Azure and, you know, their freaking Microsoft cloud service and this, this and that. And hey, by the way, you remember us on hotmail.com? Like, <laughs> you know, those are the things that you're going to start seeing. But at the same time, I don't think they're going to F it up that much. OK, guys, so stop freaking out. But if you are freaking out, these are the options. My favorite, like I said, is Bitbucket. This is legit. This is what most big companies use if you go in there and, and you do your research on what type of companies use uh bitbucket as you can see 23andme bbc uh, draftkins l'oreal starbucks like major companies use this okay GitLab, a couple of companies i mean i'll be honest it's like they're not that big i mean this is bayer nasa sony nasdaq but there is like very few if you look into who uses bitbucket the list is like 300 big companies i don't know you know how people be like yo this uh force 500 so out of the force 500 probably 300 use bitbucket so that should tell you all guys when you get a chance go check out my website codingface.com there's a whole bunch of courses there that are gonna teach you how to become a developer how to become a successful developer you know there's over 700 dollars worth of courses in here that you could get with a single price per month you could get it for the minimum which is like a monthly plan you could get a yearly plan you could get it uh you know a lifetime right you could buy into the lifetime it's up to you you know but you could also buy each course separately it's up to you but like i said guys like over 34 courses man like go in there go check it out like we have everything everything that you need stop jumping around man stop jumping around service to service and you still don't have a good portfolio stop jumping around service to service you still don't know what type of projects you need to build like yes you know how to code but where's your projects where's your portfolio where's your you know real projects that people could be like oh wow this person is ready to come work at my company like that's what we do here at codingface.com go check it out man stop playing you're playing with yourself right now you know what i mean and at the same time, man, check out the description. The description in my videos, man, always have something good, man. You're going to go in there, check, 
you know, you got the 50% off. You know, a lot of people come in, they sign up to the website and they don't realize it's like, hey, man, you could have signed up with a 50% off if you go to the links on the description. Like, look at the damn description, guys. And of course, we have other courses there from Udemy that I guarantee are really good. So you don't have to spend time or wasting time online. Like, hey, look at which one of the best courses on Udemy. Like, check it out there, man. All right. I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Dah.